Good morning, my friends, and welcome to day 22 of the 3030 Challenge. I want to see a raise of hands. How many of you are parents? Uh, how many of you are dads? And as I mentioned in a previous video, I didn't become a dad until age 53. And Leslie and I were just not able to have children in our first almost 20 years of marriage. And then um, Micah showed up. And I knew that the responsibility of becoming a father was substantial the moment that Micah jumped into my arms uh, for the first time, uh, call me daddy. So I'm gonna take you just to a very short video clip of that day, and I will come back um, after you see that experience that Leslie and I had uh, almost six years ago. No, but, no, no. Every time I see that video, God takes me back um, to that day of an absolute blessing and uh, the realization that uh, Leslie and I were able to become parents later in life and <sighs> still emotional even watching that. But I knew that uh, becoming parents of Micah, we would need guidance, we would need uh, the wisdom and the discernment, and that's what verse um, came rising up for me today is uh, in Proverbs verse, I'm sorry, chapter 22, the verse is six, and the, let's just kind of dive in as we grip the word today, okay? It says to train a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not turn from it. As we move to the R, and friends, let me be honest, there are days when I do not have a clue of how to best parent Micah, how to best be his father that day, that I just literally throw my arms in the air and say, Lord, I have nothing today. Please, please give me that wisdom uh, to help um, guide his steps and direct him. So the reveal to me is it is a huge responsibility to be a dad, a parent. One, if not the most important goal of being a dad, is to build up Micah on the foundation of faith. As I move down from the R to the I for implementation, I need to continue to seek the Lord's wisdom and discernment of how to best shepherd Micah down the path and making sure that mom and I are also on the same page. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it's amazing how kiddos can work one side of parents with mom and then switch over to dad and, and Leslie and I are just trying to do our best to make sure we're on the same page as we guide uh, Mike in, in down his path of life. So my simple prayer to the Lord when I move to the P of the grip is Lord, give me your eyes to see Micah how you see him as your precious child. Lord, please give me the wisdom and the discernment to guide not only his thoughts, but his steps toward you. I would love to, uh, you know, I'm uh, an amateur, right, in, in parenting. Only it'll be six years in March that we brought Micah home. And so I would be open to any wisdom, uh, guidance, experience. Many of you are veterans in the parenting realm. Uh, what happens, sometimes you reflect back of how you were parented. And I was very blessed uh, with parents. Um, very encouraging. Uh, perfect? No. But... Um, you know, we're just trying to do our very, very best because it seems like that day is coming faster and faster when Leslie and I will have to take Micah's hand and literally place it into God's hand and say, Lord, uh, here, please protect him and, and guide him as he leaves the home, uh, either for college or work or uh, playing professional soccer or whatever the Lord has planned. You know, we don't know. We're just trying to uh, 
just give him the best opportunity we possibly can. So that um, is what rose up for me today. Please send me your verse or your thoughts uh, on that. Love to hear them. And uh, let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer for this morning. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again. God, that as we open up your word, Lord, that a verse just happens to kind of jump off the page. And Lord, that you speak to us through your word. And Lord, I know that for this verse, um, it's a challenging one. I don't think we can ever really perfect parenthood. In fact, it's been one of the most challenging and the most rewarding um, roles I have yet played. So Lord, we just give you this time. Uh, Lord, I continue to ask that you cement your word to our hearts. Lord, that it would just transform us into the men that you called us to be. Jesus, we ask this in your powerful and mighty name. Amen. All right, good job. Day 22, I'll see you in the morning for day 23. Be blessed.